Question et comment. Questions and comments. The Honourable Member for Edmonton Greasback. Mr. Lippert. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My colleague for a speech. Part of what we've heard in the last many days on this issue in particular is this idea that these are Liberal insiders. This is a Liberal Conservative insider, as a matter of fact. Mr. Speaker, we've pointed out many, many times that she, Ms. Verturin, the former chair of SDTC, has donated to both the Liberals and Conservatives during her nearly entire stint as chair of SDDC, pushing money back to her own company, pushing back money to Conservative campaigns, pushing back money to the Conservative Party. Can the member promise Canadians that should the Conservatives form a government that they won't allow Ms. Verturin back into this place? And will they ban donations from her to their party? The Honourable Member. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I, what, I, what I can assure the member opposite is that uh, yes, uh, we would, as a, as a Conservative government, which the country is so desperate for, we will make sure that Liberal corruption, Liberal conflicts of interest will be a thing of the past, we'll clean up this mess, we'll fix the budget, we'll clean up the fiscal mess here in Ottawa, and we will get this country moving again. The Honourable Member from Edmonton Griesbach. Thank you very much, so, Mr. Speaker. And for those who are tuning into this debate, it's very clear to see that between the extreme issues present to the current Liberal government, the serious mismanagement of funds in SDTC, or whether it's at the historic contempt case of the former Conservative government, these parties are consistently abusing Canadians. They're abusing Canadians' ability to get things done in this House. They're abusing Canadians' tax dollars. And when it becomes convenient for them to call out each other's mismanagement, it becomes then politically convenient for them in this place. It shouldn't have to be that way, Mr. Speaker. New Democrats always believe in financial accountability and financial transparency. That's why we voted in favour of this motion. But we can't help but point out the direct hypocrisy between the two parties that we've just witnessed in this debate and their complete lack of memory when it comes to their own mismanagement. Does the member agree that a serious debate on this issue should require reflection of one's own actions, in particular the issues that were present, not just to this government, but that of Mr. Harper's? The Honourable Member from Paris Al Muskoka. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, it's comical. It's hard to take that member seriously. He has voted consistently for four years to support this corrupt government. He'll stand in here and tell them, oh, they're horrible, they're this, they're bad. His leaders stood up and ripped up their agreement. The marriage is over. Oh, my goodness, because they're so corrupt, they're so bad, they're so evil. And they still vote every single time in here to support them and continue their corruption. I can't take you seriously. 